Hey there. So I have a really interesting story for you. Um, back last fall, someone called me up and they said, hey, we have a black rat snake that has a really bad case of mouth rot. Can you treat it? And I said, sure, bring it, bring it on. So um, they brought this, or actually I, I picked up the snake from a veterinary clinic and um, found out the history of the snake that the snake had been found by some landscapers on this beautiful piece of property where I'm standing now. And um, they took the snake to the veterinarian if I'm, if I believe I'm getting all this right. And, um, and then when I picked the snake up, I noticed it had a terrible case of mouth rot. It was so bad, the snake wouldn't eat, it couldn't drink water, uh, it was very thin. So um, I gave it some antibiotics for several weeks and we gave it some special, uh, special bath. Uh, we treated the snake and its mouth recovered. Well, it did not want to eat, so we had to force feed it. We had to force feed the snake for several months. Uh, rubber tube down its throat, with a special blend of um, pureed food and the snake got stronger, got healthier and then we hibernated the snake over uh, about a month and a half in the middle of the winter, brought the snake out again in the spring and it would not eat for a few weeks. We had to force feed it a few more times and then one day I brought home a live mouse, put the mouse in with the snake, grabbed it, constricted it and ate it and since then it's eaten about uh, six more mice, live mice and uh, it is now ready to be released. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to release this snake in its home habitat, which is where we're standing right here, this beautiful place. And so I'm going to go get the snake and we're going to let it go over in this big boxwood so it has some cover and some shelter while it, while it remembers where it is. So let's do that. All right, it's time to release the snake. I have him in a pillowcase for transport. Here he is, nice little black snake, or rat snake, or black rat snake. They go by so many different names, but this is a little young male, healthy now, very healthy little black snake. And so let's let him go. I'm guessing he's probably about four or five years old, maybe, maybe six. They can live 15 or so years. And uh, so here we go, look at that, never even tried to bite. Super friendly little snakes. All right, come a little closer. So what I'm going to do, they're, they're excellent climbers, so I'm just going to let him take himself up into this bush and see what happens. There he goes. Look over there, over there, right there. Look. There he is. Does it show up? Yeah, it sort of does. <laughs> Yeah, go in closer. He's looking around, he's smelling, he's trying to figure out where he is. Yeah. And I'm sure he's gonna, very soon he's gonna realize that, hey, this is home. He's gonna zip off. Oh yeah, he's gonna go back to places that he's been to before. And, uh, you know, this is his habitat. So this is the best thing for him. We could have let, let him go anywhere, but that would not be the best thing for this guy because uh, some of the studies I've done and studies I've read uh, d basically indicate and suggest that all animals, uh, are all, or pretty much most reptiles, they know where they are in their habitat. They know where they're going. Look at him. He almost seems like he's recognizing. And um, so if you move a snake too far from its home habitat, it gets Canada. confused. Yeah, they, they don't do very well. They're not very adaptable with moving to new places. He is very interested in something on that tree limb. Maybe he sees a bird nest or something. There could be something there. He's very, very interested. He's sniffing. Oh. Yeah, look at him. Like what? And he's totally oblivious to us. He's very interested. He might be smelling the scent of another snake that has recently passed through here. Oh. Or he's trying to triangulate, you know, figure out where am I? <laughs> you know, and they, they will. He'll figure it out. That's super cool. It's really nice to see him all healthy now after being so so ill with his mouth just so sore, infected, yeah. sore and gross. Oh, it was so sad. And now he is back in his home element. I think he's about to move off. Very happy snake. All right, so that's another great success story.